Using Quasar's Q banner component is a lot of fun. Let's give it a try. Q dash banner. And we can say here, for example, are you sure? Save it. And by default, it doesn't look like much at all. So let's come up here and add a little bit of styling in there. Class is equal to background dash primary. Let's go with that. And we'll probably want to set the text to white as well. And there we go. That's our banner. Next, I'm going to remove the classes up here just so we get a fuller width banner. Very nice. And how about some padding in here too? So padding to the Q page and we're all ready to start. Sometimes you might want it to take up less room so we can add in dents. And there you go. You've got a denser version of your banner. You can also round the corners off by saying rounded. So that's just going to round the corners off a little bit. I think that looks quite nice. So I often like to round the corners. And we've also got some slots here as well. So if I say template, and let's set the template for that equal to avatar, then you can put a Q icon in here. This is a classic thing you would put in an avatar slot. Q dash icon. And let's set the name of that to warning. There we go. Pops up straight away. Pretty cool. Another thing you might want to do is put an image in there. So let's change this to a Q dash image and then set the source of that image equal to https dot dot slash slash pixum dot photos slash mm, how about we go for 100 by 100 or maybe even a bit less than that 80 by 80. And we're probably going to want to manually put the width and height on this image. So let's say style is equal to width of 80 pixels and then we'll add in a height of 80 pixels. Save it and there we go. We get a nice image in there. So you'd probably even make that smaller to be honest, maybe something like 42. That looks good. And since we're using the Q image component, we could actually put the width and the height directly in there. So let's say 42 pixels and then we'll set the height to 42 pixels and get rid of the style tag. There we go. I think that's just a little bit cleaner. We also have a template for actions. So let's come under here and say template. And then we'll say actions there. Oh, that needs to be a hashtag symbol. And a classic thing that you'd put in actions is a Q dash button. So let's give that a label equal to find out more. Save it. And I believe it might be action singular. So let's get rid of the S and there you go. Usually in this context, you'd also make the button flat. Cool. So that looks pretty good. Let's go back to that warning icon. I think it looked a little bit better than this image. Q dash icon with a name equal to warning. There we go. Now the last thing I want to do is there are some cases where you might want these actions to be inline. And this is probably a good example of that where it's taking up, there's just a little bit too much space here and a bit too much space up there as well. So in this situation, you can say inline dash actions, save it, and there we go. I think that looks really good. So there you have it, the Q banner component. I'll see you in the next video.